July 4, 2020. America's 4th of July is very well known all over the world. And we as American citizens celebrate it. I was fortunate to belong to two great countries, India and America. I went to America in 1982 and was always told that this is the land of opportunity, a land with equal rights. And I must say that when I went there, the opportunities as an Indian classical dancer were none. And yet I performed at Lincoln Center, Symphony Space, and created many opportunities. But I come back to saying, why was this independence in, 90, in 1776? Why did we have it? Because great men came together, like Thomas Jefferson and John Adams, and brought about this change where we could, for many generations, celebrate the independence and equality of people in the real way, not just a checkbox. So when we complain about governments, when we complain about people not being in the right position for presidency, it is we who are to blame. We are the people. As many have said, we must be the change. So we should get together and uphold these traditions of America, not just with red, white and blue and barbecues and its wonderful fireworks, which I will miss this year as I'm in the lockdown in India, but celebrate the very essence of what I believed America always was, equality. Jefferson also included at that point anti-slavery, which was removed from the declaration because they did not want to confuse it from just the independence from, of the 13 states from Britain. So I would like to remind all of us today to try and really talk about equality despite religion, race, color, gender, and come together to make a difference in making our government and us responsible for that government and not to criticize them, but to make a government that is for the people. We vote them into power, we are responsible. They are not our parents to make things happen. We as a team have to make the government and they represent people like us, US citizens. And that is how we will make the difference. So let's cel celebrate and try to make America really what it is meant to be and not give it lip service and be politically correct all the time. Let us learn to be honest and really celebrate the spirit of these great men who came together around an oval table to make a difference to generations of Americans. Let the flag fly high in the real way. Make sure the next government is what is representative of equality, of class, race, gender, people, and above all, anti the very thoughts Jefferson stood for and John Adams and every US president who believed in equality. As an immigrant, I urge you all, please look within yourself as the election comes up and really vote with your heart and not just your dollars. And happy 4th of July to everyone. Thank you.